Today, we're down at the Regency Nissan dealership in North Vancouver to take a look at one of the first EVs, or electric vehicles, the Nissan LEAF. And because buying one is almost as interesting as owning one, we're going to talk to Greg Nielsen to help us understand what that looks like. Well, the main difference is that uh, a lot of the process happens online. And you can go on the internet to uh, reserve a vehicle, you can request a quote from a dealer, or you can even set up a home charging assessment for your house. So typically, how long does it take to charge a vehicle like this? Well, using your home charging dock from a completely empty battery to full charge will take about seven and a half hours. It's going to cost you a couple bucks in electricity to charge your car up overnight. Using the quick charger, you can go up to 80% in as little as half an hour. You can go 160 kilometers on a charge, which is more than enough for most people throughout the course of a day. There's a lot of technological advancement with the vehicle. I understand that there's an online component and an app. Yeah, you can download an app to your smartphone and actually control the charging times for the car, uh, set it up to start charging at a certain time of the day. Uh, you can even turn the climate control system on and off using your smartphone. So tell me more about the online component. Well, the car is actually connected to the internet through a telematics system called CarWings. And you can go in and you can uh, set up your uh, routes on the navigation system and check to see where the local charging stations are. You can even connect to other LEAF drivers to see how your energy consumption compares with theirs. That's interesting. So they've taken that sense of like community that we have like Facebook or Twitter and they've built that into the software. Well, I think, uh, I think I'm ready to uh, do it myself. Uh, I'd like to jump in this car and give it a whirl. How's yep. that sound? Let's do it. All right, let's okay. do it. So one of the first questions that we have is how much pep does the electric vehicle have? I'm gonna give it some gas here. Oh, actually that's pretty impressive for an electric vehicle. I'm very surprised at how much give and go that has. So one of the interesting things is how it shows you what kind of range you're actually gonna get here in the vehicle. If you can see on the screen, you don't have to worry too much about where your next electricity charge up is because it actually shows how far you can actually drive. The white area is how far you can definitely make it to. The sort of gradient white area is how far you can make it to if you're in the eco mode. Well, I must say that that was a very enjoyable ride and the vehicle feels like a regular ordinary car. I mean, it's sleek, it's stylish, it's got all the features. Now, of course, it is new technology. That means that there may be some kinks as things get worked out, but ultimately, I'm bought in. The only thing I'm gonna miss is that Slurpee at the gas station that I used to pick up. Now, I guess I'm gonna have to stop just for that. <laughs> 